It has been a remarkable season for Mike. He's trying to become Canada's first ever major champion. Before this, we had this. A most unusual start to the 2003 Masters. But 20 years later, apropos to the story that was about to develop. After round one was completely washed out Thursday, the golfers teed off on both the front nine and back nine for the first time in Masters history, hoping to complete two rounds in one day. The soggy conditions proved to be troublesome for most, favorites included, but not for Mike Weir. Something of a dark horse, maybe, this week, but Mike Weir, who's been playing very well, too. Sensational start to the season for Weir. He's battling at the top again. Weir shot an opening round two under 70, one of just seven golfers in red numbers. The Canadian lefty started his second round on the back nine in the mid-afternoon. Weir rattled off three consecutive birdies on 13, 14, and 15 before adding birdies on two and three. Weir's second round finished early Saturday morning, a 68 to get to six under for the tournament, 36 holes in just over 24 hours, and now a solo lead at Augusta. It's Saturday at the Masters. You wonder what will it take to win here? After just making the cut at five over, Tiger Woods seeking an unprecedented third straight green jacket, rocketed up the leaderboard with a six under 66, putting him four back of the lead. Meanwhile, Weir wavers. Mike Weir had been playing so mistake free, Jim. All of a sudden we're seeing the mistakes. That is a swing that you just can't afford to make it. Oh my. A six shot lead at one point on Saturday disappeared as Weir played the final 10 holes at four over, finishing at three under par. That was good for second spot on the leaderboard. 54 holes in just under 36 hours. Fatigue play any part, do you think? Possibly, you know, um, you know I, I'll, I'll feel good to get a good rest tonight and, and feel better tomorrow. Oh, please, Mike Weir now driving. You'll like that one. Weir left his shaky Saturday behind with his first birdie of the day on number two. Another stroke gained with a birdie on the par three six. And then after the surprising Jeff Maggart's triple bogey the third, Weir was in the lead. About an hour before Weir teed off, the lesser known Len Matisse was making his move up the leaderboard while the favorites faltered. Matisse shot a scorching seven under 65, the best round of the weekend grabbing the outright lead. But Weir maintained his pace. A birdie on 13 brought him within two. And then moments after Matisse committed his only bogey of the day on the 18th, Weir had a chance to pull even on 15. This to time Matisse. Yes! Three to play and we have a tie. Weir finished out his round with three consecutive pars, including a knee-knocking seven-footer on the 18th to send the Masters to its first playoff since 1990. The playoff hole was the par four 10th. After a pair of drives in the fairway, Matisse ran into some trouble. That left. It's well left. And so, the door to the green jacket was left wide open. Weir could two-putt his way to Masters glory. It'll be good enough. The green jacket is going north of the border. Mike Weir has won the Masters. And with that, Mike Weir provided Canada with its first ever major championship. And 20 years later, Weir's legacy remains as still the only Canadian male to ever win a major. All right, where is he? Thanks, Doug. Oh, that feels good. There you go. <laughs> Congratulations, Thanks. buddy. Thanks, man.